Welcome to Squad Says, I am Ted's friends. And I am the Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Guess. An interactive trivia show where you, the audience, make all of the decisions. Your job will be to help out your chef by answering questions, and for every question you get right, you will earn points for your squad, as well as earn resources for your chef to start out with in our cooking show, Squad Says Served. So if you haven't already, make sure you're logged into Twitch and you've joined the squad. As a reminder, you will only be voting on, uh, voting only works on a PC or a Mac, and you won't be able to vote if you're on mobile or a tablet. All right, is everyone ready? Let's meet our judges for today. Katie and Will, come on onto uh, your station I'm here. Sit right over there, yep. Come have, have a seat. Ted, get over to your spot I'm, there. I'm walking over to my spot here. Walking over there. Uh, All right, let's introduce our, uh, our judges for the day. Katie, look at that camera right over there. and let the folks at home know who you are, what you do, where can they find you on the Internet. Ooh. Hello, Internet humans. My name is Katie, um, also on Twitch. I'm K Dowling 6 Let's just say I'm friends with Princess Anna, if you know what I'm saying, for my job. Um, I brew, I bartend, you know, all the above. So, yeah, I live in the great state of Washington. That's, uh, that's about me, yeah. Okay, and uh, Will, let's introduce you as well. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody, uh, I'm Will, uh, games industry miscreant for several years, and I now <laughs> yell at things on the internet professionally. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> that was very succinct. Now, what does friends with, of Anna mean? It means that uh, sometimes I may show up as Princess Anna to events, meet oh. and birthday parties, you know, the works. Um, yeah, I sing, I dance, I uh, don't steal things like Jason Mraz, but you know. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> the only reason that I was curious about that was Mike and I both looked at each other as soon as he said that and went, what does that mean? Like, well, you could see the, 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 the words coming through our eyes. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the fancy technical term we get to use. Gotcha. Great. Okay, <laughs> friends with, is it actually like a Disney certified, it's like? It's a partnership because if it was uh, certified, I would be make a lot less money and then um, oh, really? I would have to wear a wig. And oh. uh, I like to prefer to go all natural, except for a little extension. Yeah. I oh, know so those cool. fields. Mm -hmm. Ginger body. Yes. Yeah. But you said it's a partnership, though. So this is something you actually in works with, like you talk to Disney, or is some? Sure. Other? Sure. Yeah. Sure. That's right. This is legit. So is this similar <laughs> to like this? Uh, is it sort of similar to like the Star Wars 500 First Legion? I don't know what that is, but uh huh. So yeah. it's like yeah, it it's is, movie exactly. accurate everything Star Wars uh, and actually, they go visit uh, people. Ted, and... I think you're going to pronounce the 501st. Uh, originally a group of uh, clone... Oh, I can't even use words today. Clone soldiers who did so well that they were promoted through the ranks. Star Wars Battlefield 2. Look it up, my friend. <laughs> He's got you there. Again, so these are actually one of our <laughs> moderators on the channel here as a part of it, Lord Vader. He actually has a movie accurate Lord Vader That's awesome. oh. Darth Vader suit and actually goes and visits sick children to uh, do things like that. Yeah. If you're a sick kid, I think the last thing you want to see is Darth Vader. Darth Vader there like, might be your hero. You never know. He's like, look, you got one last chance. You can join the dark side or that's it. Yeah, that's no, it. exactly. So we talked to Katie a little bit more. Will, tell us a little bit more about what you're doing on your live stream specifically now because you do a lot of indie and you speak to developers a lot of the time. Thank you. Yeah, so what I've been doing these days is finding weird, cool, interesting indie games, mm -hmm. trying to show them to as many people as possible, chat with the devs about both the games themselves and also what they're trying to do. Like, I guess I have that philosophy, there aren't many bad games out there. And mm -hmm. if I can help show off a few, a few cool ones, if I can help kind of get into the guts and the artistic intent of them, then I feel like I've done something good. What's one right now that you're like really enjoying? On your, oh, I, either on stream or off stream? Oh, so uh, off stream, uh, I've been really enjoying The Surge, actually. Went back to that one. Oh, yeah, that's and a fun game. The Surge? The Surge. Yeah. Uh, Dark Soulsian type title where you play a gentleman uh, wheelchair bound who gets a job uh, working in a science kind of like future Elon Musk style company. Uh, yeah. And then it gets really body horror Dark Souls almost immediately. It gets crazy. The cool ah. thing about it is you can destroy a bunch of robots and when you're like, you can dismember the robots and like add them to yourself yeah. to be like, oh, I need that guy's arm. I really like that particular leg. I'm taking that leg. I'm taking that leg. Uh, and also, I'm going to keep saying this, and I know I annoyed you both with this last time, The Hex. The Hex is my game of the year. If you know nothing about it, buy it, play it. Six hours, it will be your game of the year too. Like, yeah. You might not want to sleep for a few hours afterwards, but you know. Just, it, gets just pretty, it. it gets pretty intense. That's what, and they just put out some DLC. It was like an amusement park DLC, right? Oh, like in the that? Surge, yeah. They've yeah, done like, the a, like a Westworld style good yeah. man and the ugly. Yeah. yeah. So, Katie, those you're, are, you're those a cos jams. Those are, those are good jams. Katie, as a cosplayer, uh, do you take inspiration? Do you try to do, do you stick to movies or do you also do video game cosplay? 
I love video games. Oh, yeah? What's play. your favorite cosplay? Really? Um, I'm working on a GLaDOS one right now. Really? Ooh. Yeah. How would you do a GLaDOS one? Um, so basically, uh, I have a friend who actually is a professional seamstress. Nice. Um, she also hooked me up with my uh, Ana costume. So uh, basically, she's got like this robot headpiece, but then you just wear like a, for me, I'm going to just wear a dress with it and um, just white shoes. But I'm also looking on a different cosplay right now. Um, it's in the work and it's a secret. Oh, it's a secret. All right. Mm -hmm. We want to let the chat know voting has started. So what's going to happen is when you vote, you're only going to vote for your squad. So make sure you're paying attention to the colored border around the screen right there so that you're voting on your uh, correct squad. And I believe... <laughs> if you don't see anything on your screen or you haven't been prompted to join a squad, go ahead and refresh your browser there and uh, you'll see that pop up. If you're actually there watching us, because we should be on the front page of Twitch right now, you want to click on and actually go directly to our page. Wait, yeah. what? Well, you knew about this. Don't act surprised. <laughs> let, me do my, me. let me do my thing. Okay, okay, hold on. Well, Let's do win, that again. Go you win it. one preamble and then uh, one preseason and mm -hmm. you're old Mr. Ted Wint. What does that mean? I don't understand <laughs> you what went, just happened you got, here. You went and tended this whole thing up, Ted. So if you don't see the voting and you're watching us on the front page, go ahead and actually click on it to go to our page, and you'll be prompted to join either the purple squad or the green squad here, and you can join on in on the actual competition. That's right. This is live. Anything can happen. It's a fact. Uh, production, so I'll let you guys know. There it is. Perfect right there. We got it. Oh, it was there. And it, it was gone. there. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, Perfect. So uh, green squad has voted true on this. Now, Will would rather break his hand than go to a month without video games. Is that true <laughs> or false? Uh, okay, so not only is that uh, true that I would rather break my hand than go without video games, that uh -huh. I did actually break my hand being a complete stupid. Yes, we do know <laughs> about that. Now explain, how did you break your hand? Okay, so picture the scene. It's been a lovely day. Um, several beverages of the grown-up variety have been consumed. <laughs> mm, grown-up. Mm -hmm. Possibly far more. There was the drinks after the after drinks. And I'm having one of those like uh, wonderful boogieing home, perfect Spotify <coughs> playlist moments on my oh, phone, yeah? Yeah. bouncing along. Oh, there's a branch. I'm going to take a swing in time with the music. Clonk. Stop sign behind the branch. I swung ah. through. Uh, snapped like a breadstick. However, because Whoa. of this stubborn bad word, uh, I spent a week just icing it and taking painkillers, being like, no, it's fine, and spent a week uh, playing games and streaming. All right. I so just it is. rested it in ice like this. So I was playing like that. Wow. So that is yeah. one point for Green Squad there. Good job, Green Squad. Purple's turn. All right, Purple Squad is voted false on this. Will, you would rather eat six small meals per day versus three large meals. Is that true or false? Uh, that is definitely false. I'm a three big big meal individual. Nice job, Purple Squad. Three big meals. Talk to me about your three. Well, all right, let's, let's plan out. Tell me your perf. Your perfect three big meals. Oh, okay. So off the bat, steak and eggs breakfast. Oh yeah. Um, sandwich, usually of the of the submarine variety lunch. At dinner, I'm gonna go like carb fest. I'm fucking pasta sauce. Nice. Bread the size of your torso, salad, the whole <laughs> shebang. That's and, that's my three. And speaking of bread, I mean, you're and you're a, you're a kind of a tall dude, so bread the size of your torso. That's a long piece of bread. <laughs> that's a long piece of bread. So I'm saying the Chiton says, "Holy Panini Press, almost 2,000 viewers." Hello, everyone out there in Twitch land. Reminder, guys, if you're on the front page and you're just joining us from the front page, go into the, uh, the our channel, join that's a true. squad, and get that overlay extension working for you. All right, now. Uh, Green Squad has voted false on this. Katie, have you never watched a full episode of Stranger Things? Is that true or false? Ah, uh, that is false. I've seen Ooh. the entire series to full, up to date. Ooh. Big fan, actually. Uh, yeah, really good show. Really good show, I'd say. I, I, it is a good show. Are you having problems with your? Uh, oh yeah, my knot apart? came undone there. Uh -oh. I was I was revealing things to the <laughs> audience there that I didn't mean to reveal. <laughs> we get the, we get the front page of Twitch and immediately the close start coming <laughs> off. Oh jeez, Ted. So uh, we did get another point there. Great job, everybody. Great job, Green Squad. Remember, you are competing this first round here. We did want to say, because we didn't actually announce that, the winner, I guess the winner is going to get to choose their knife here, whether or not you get this bread knife. That's, that's, actually, that's the second oh, round. That's according the second round. So the Sorry. first round, who happens in the first round, actually, if the winner gets the first round, they get to go first and serve, ah. and their squad chef will get the rice cooker and rice. So that's a big advantage that to start out with. huge advantage. That's a big advantage. Our chefs over there right now just jaws dropped when I said that out loud. Like rice? Great. Right, well, and the cooker, which and means the they got something to cook it in. All right, so this they voted true on this. Katie, you would rather cosplay Cartman than Rocket Raccoon. 
Oh, that's true. That is true. Actually, <laughs> wow. nice job, Purple Squad. Why? Tell us why. I really love South Park as well, and um, he's I yeah he's just really funny, and um, yeah that's really about it. Yep. That's and I really. I don't know who Rocky Raccoon is. What? That's all right. You know what? We'll we'll give you we'll give you the nerd download later. Don't worry about it. Uh, the Shaitan also says new folks remember Purple Squad is the best squad. That is not true. Green Squad is the the best squad. In <laughs> fact, Green Squad came out victorious during our preseason here. I want to say due to my wonderful cooking of egg skills. That is the only reason you guys won. We actually ended the preseason in a tie, but the cooking skills, that's right. I oversalted my omelet. You did I oversalt was, your omelet. Now, Green omelet. Squad has voted false on this one. Will, your favorite sports team is the Tottenham Hotspurs. <laughs> uh, I am glad they voted, voted false. They, they voted. voted false because uh, that is definitely not true. So what's your favorite soccer team then? Um, or footy, as you all say. If prompted <laughs> by gentlemen larger and more uh, London than I am, I would say Newcastle. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, because it's all right. the only team I've ever seen live. Really? Okay. Yeah. So you're just going to stick with that. Is Ted wearing a Stranger Things jumper? This is a streamer things jumper, is what it says. I thought you were going to do a reveal with the previous one. I thought that was almost a, a roll into another bit. Oh, no. That I wasn't going to be like... No, no, absolutely. That was just my top coming off. Ah, story of my life. <laughs> Speaking about your life, going back to food. I like, I like that. All our questions are about Will and his food, ha his food habits. They voted false on this. You would rather eat bangers and mash over fish and chips. So true or false? <sighs> That is false, I'm afraid. Oh, fish wow, and chips wow. is... Uh, three and three right now. Wow. Bangers and mashes are consistent, but fish and chips, there is a, there is a wide variety. Mm. You know, what you're going to get from Cornwall and what you're going to get from, you know, from Manchester, those are two very different kinds of fish and chips. So for maybe those folks that aren't around here, so maybe, let's talk about folks that are here in Seattle. Is there a good place to find fish and chips here in Seattle? In Washington. Uh, if there is, I haven't found it. You yet. haven't wow. found it yet. I that can understand decisive. that. That is decisive. Wow. But I'm hunting. I'm hunting. I found the English. Uh, I found the most English pub of all time. Which one? But that's a story. Uh, it's the place next to the English import store in, I think, Redmond. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that place. Pub? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that, that place is, is great. That place is great. But it's eerie. It's like Tardis levels of yeah. English. You open it and you're like Tardis. Yeah. And you no, look out and you're like, but I'm still in Seattle. And you open it and it's it even smells like a Weatherspoons. Which, All right. That's a shout out to my Brits there. Perfect. Thank you, Will. Now, Green Squad voted true on this one. Katie, you prefer IPAs over stouts? Mm, that is true, actually. Yeah. Yes. Four in a row. Wow. We're killing it right now, squads. Good job. I'm actually Green. working on uh, brewing a triple IPA. So you tri a triple. triple? Triple IPA. What yeah. makes it so? It's, so is it a triple I, a triple P, or a triple A? Oh, my God. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> uh, basically, um, triple eyes. But yeah, three different kinds of malt, and wow. it's actually with a, an experimental malt called Ooh. Strata from Skagit Valley Malting. It's going to be coming out within a month, and I'm excited. Is there a tasting party, and how do I sign up? Oh God, you're like first on the list. VIP yeah, over here. So you know that sometimes we give our chefs uh, beers as ingredients to use in their cooking. Oh hell yeah! So if we can maybe you know maybe get oh. a couple, and we can be like, oh look Hulk at this yeah. beer right here. Yeah. They're allowed to drink it regardless. I think that, they can do whatever true. they want with it. Uh, Caffeine one one three says Bleh, IPAs. You know what? I'm also a stout man myself. I mean, I'm a stout man, but I still love to drink myself some stouts uh, when I was hey. drinking. When, when I was drinking, that would have false on this, Katie. You would rather have the superpower flight over shape changing. Oh my god. Well, you know my dream is to be a cat. Okay. Because I love all sorts of cat activities, snuggling, just eating, like you said, massive amounts of food. <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah. So that is false. Great. So. Good job, you guys. Wow. Our squads are killing it, it today. Is this is a dead even heat. What happens when uh, we tie this? Do one of us get the rice cooker and one of us gets the rice? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good plan. There we go. That's, that's what I think so. Perfect. But then who goes first? I then nobody goes first. That's yeah, totally first time. No, that's first. Nobody goes first. And nobody goes one. first. We, we, we start at the same time and then the same time. first minute there. Well, perfect. So what's the difference between like a triple IPA and an imperial IPA? Oh, my gosh. Um, that's a double. That's an IIPA. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I wanted to say the metric system, but. <laughs> yeah, it's basically just um, <clears throat> increased uh, amount of hops used, different kinds of hops, and ABV is uh, exponentially higher um, with coming from an Imperial to a triple IPA. Interesting. Wow. That yeah. sounds like my kind of beer. So, <laughs> uh, Green Squad has voted true on this one. Will, Will's ideal day would include a nap. Let oh. me just say, I feel like everybody's ideal day would include a nap. This was a gimme question. Yeah, hell's yes. Of course. <laughs> See, I knew that. So that is another question correct for uh, Green Squad there. I feel like this one was 
along the lines of, does Will like food? Yeah, I know. My, this is a very my question, a little, maybe a little more, uh, not so much, but we'll see. Ooh, we'll see. Hopefully, right. Scott can come through with this, because right now, I think this, I think this question might be the deciding question. Uh, naps are great, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Naps are the bomb. On three, one, two, three, do all of uh, raise your hand if you like naps, if you're a nap person. Every, the entire that. studio. Everyone. The Every, whole studio. <laughs> everybody, and <clears throat> look at all the nappers. We were lied to as children that naps were a chore and that was something we had to endure. That was one of the lies. We were right lied to. We exactly. were lied to. Yeah, tell me about it. I have a two-year-old and he fights naps all the time. And I'm like, dude, just wait until you're older. You're going to love it. You'll learn. Uh, shout out to, to Tyler Gus, who's, I don't have any bits to fight for the top position, but take these. Two pride. Thank you so much for those bits. <laughs> we appreciate that. Okay, Dr. Pepper Pepsi pun guy says, I'd love to try to, try to see them pronounce my name. We got it. Nailed it first time. Uh, first I see time. you, Dr. P. Will. True or false, you've cried in the last two weeks. <laughs> oh. That is true. That is true. We what? got it. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Okay. I just want to say for a second here, from the production room in the back, we just hear a loud giggle or a, a loud chortle from there coming from the production room. Why, is, why are they laughing? Okay. Uh, so I play a lot of indie games. Uh -huh. And Ooh. when you stream things, you get so much into them. Yeah. Uh, my uh, wonderful group of individuals, mm -hmm. a few of whom are, are throwing bits at your lovely selves, um, <laughs> delight in uh, throwing cheers and stuff and making me cry on stream. That is a thing that they have, they have thoroughly enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And this is something that has been memed and clipped very well. Okay. Nice. Um, and the maniacal cackling from side rooms is from individuals who know this. We want to shout out to all those bits being thrown at us right away. Caffeine113 gives us five bits. Uh, party first. Aaron Feathers, another uh, four bits. Hardbuck Hero with the ten bits in honor of Mike's loss. Thanks a ton. Uh, <laughs> cheer, another 10 bits from Caffeine. Uh, they're saying we make you guys cry all the time. And Dr. Peppy Pepsi Pun Guy says what gets broken so much. That's crazy. Enough about Will. Let's talk about Katie. Yep. Ooh, all right. Now, Katie would rather cook a dinner for 20 people than crash a stranger's wedding. Is that true or false? Ooh. Um, probably uh, false. False. All right. Crash a couple weddings. In. Have you really? What? Yeah, yeah. What was, was, the, was the best one? Um, the best one was, it was a uh, Jewish wedding and um, amazing food, but uh, I obviously did not uh, fit in as I was very underdressed and <laughs> I did get kicked out of that wedding. Wow. Oh, you got yeah. hot too? You legend. Dang. I All right. I was wearing a Pikachu t-shirt. I did not yes. fit in. I did not fit in. <laughs> All right, Harlow Caro says, seems good with the nine bits. Dr. Root says, hi, Katie, and gives hi. us nine little shamrock bits. Katie, true or false, you paint your toenails less frequently than once per month. They voted true Ooh. on this. That is true. That is true. Ooh, what? Right. With that, we've taken the lead right now. Yeah, we've taken the lead right now. Uh, We're falling behind here. I don't, I don't like this. 25 more bits from Novelius there. So talk to us about your, your toenail and fingernail regiment. So right now, my fingernails are a disaster, as I can, you can I've see. noticed. Um, I don't know if we can get a shot over there. Look at them over here. Hold them up to the camera. Those are a disaster. Those are, those are disaster. Well, I've just, seen better days. I, I can, uh, here's the thing. I can tell by the color that you actually do. I can tell by the color. I'm, I'm being told to move so they can see, so they can see what's going on. Uh, we can tell that you do take care of your nails. It just I looks do, like they've, it's been a while. Usually, um, I get a gel painted on, and it's the color changing. Oh, I nice. Yeah, it's yeah. purple to green. That's my favorite. But I don't know. Nobody ever sees my toes. Well, I hope they don't see my toes. And so, uh, basically, I just focus on the fingers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. And I'm good at fingers, not at toes. I don't know. I just kind of get sloppy. That's, yeah. understand. That's yeah. understandable. Well, Thank all right. You. Awesome. Green Squad voted true on this one. We got to come back here, Green Squad. Let's get the next couple right. Oof, they have to get a couple wrong over there in the purple. Will's dream job is, in my dreams, I do not have a job. Is that true <laughs> or false? Wow, that, that, that's meta as heck. That's a true or false question. I mean, really, what is the nature of dreams? Really, who are we? What is, this hap what is happening? What, what's, Will? what's going on? Um, I, what is my dream job? Uh... Is your dream job to not have a job? No, God. Damn. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Damn, damn. I would become incredibly uh, lazy and probably do nothing if I didn't have a job. Understandable. We right. get that. I hunger for the challenge. Uh, I want to say thanks to Caffeine13 again for another 15 <laughs> uh, bit cheer there. Thank you. You know so what? Much. It's because you said you liked um, stouts. Like, you basically just made a friend with Caffeine. That's awesome. Caffeine, you and I. Uh, 100 from Slift Croissant says, uh, I believe this means I'm winning. 
Uh, they voted. <laughs> they voted false on this. Raging Cajun with the five bits. Wow, taking the lead, just throwing nickels. Uh, they voted false on this. Will you would rather go barefoot for life than never enter a motor vehicle other than an airplane? God damn. All right, this. <laughs> Luckily, your answer is not written on here. So if you need to see the question, oh. right there, the squad voted false on this. You would rather go barefoot for life than never enter another vehicle other than an airplane. Ooh. Uh, that is... Stay true. That is false, I'm afraid. <laughs> Damn! I have no qualms. I have no qualms against vehicles. I can't drive, but it doesn't mean I'm against it. Mm. That makes sense. All right. Let's talk about Katie some more. All right, Katie. Now, Green Squad has voted true on this one, and I just want to make a note. I didn't say your nails looked like a disaster. Mike Thank did. Thank you. Mm, you're welcome. I uh, agreed Katie with her. uses her toaster more than her microwave. Green Squad voted true on that one. Is that correct? That is true. I never use a microwave. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. So could I ask a, a very important question on this one? Oh, God. How many slots is your toaster? Four. Just oh. think, thank you. Sensible mm. people have a four-slot toaster. Mm -hmm. I need I have strong opinions sensible on this. Sensible people. So you're saying people who have two-slot toasters are unsensible. I am saying they are They are slumming it, and they need wow. to consider their life choices with only two slots. Jesus. Wow. Think of others, man. You know, think of others. If you only have two, you can only get enough toast for one person. If there's more, then you're just kind of, you know. Yeah. And who eats one slice of toast? No one. Exactly. <laughs> I have That's strong true. opinions on this. One We're slot toaster it. owners are sociopaths. Is there a one slot oh toaster? Oh my god, what a sociopath that these people are. He's awful. correct. <laughs> yep. He is. All right, Katie, you would rather give up your driver's license than coffee. Is that true or false? That is. Wait, so repeat it. Real so quick. you would rather give up your driver's <laughs> license than give up coffee? That is false. I am allergic to coffee. You are allergic. All right, so we got that one incorrect. Our first wrong one of the uh, the round so far. You're allergic to coffee, really? It's like I won't die, but then it's like sometimes I just turn red, like um, that one comic book character that is red and an angry. Help me out here. Red Hulk. The Red Hulk. The Red Hulk. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Yep, that's it. Uh, yeah, so it's like uh, that's all that would happen. I but yeah, so I avoid it. I'm a Red Bull girl. Nice. Yeah, I, yeah. Get it? I, I'm also. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'm with you. I'm with Thanks. you. Dr. Wu uh, is repping the purple squad with another 10 bits. Thank you so much. Harlow like says, who only makes one sandwich? And then MTV DCM says, solution, airplane for everything. You just get an airplane at a drive -thru, uh, airplane at the restaurant drive through Just fly a plane. Oh, yeah. yeah. If I could through the airplane drive through No, yes. oh, perfect. Uh, and that means that's the end of round one. Oh, that is the end of round one. Look at Ooh. that. And purple squad, victorious. That means that my chef gets to go first and served, and I get to start out with the rice cooker and rice, and both chefs, this is good, because both chefs actually get to start out with unlimited water. And they all, oh, every time, we gotta make that clear, everyone unlimited starts out water. with unlimited water, but your chef does get to uh, start with the rice cooker and some rice. That's it's almost cheating. My chef is very excited over there. Like right. having free just rice. Just free rice. All right. With that in mind, let's say thank you to our judges. Judges, we will talk to you some more during Squad Says Served. Uh, thank you kindly. Thank you. We'll say goodbye to them, and let's get our chefs out here. Will, you got to blow a kiss to the camera. Perfect. There you go. All right. Let's welcome our chefs, Chef Kells on the Purple Squad and Chef Angelina on the Green Squad. Yeah. Ooh, welcome Ba-dum-ba. back to both of you. You both are vets of the show at this point. That's yeah. right. And Kells, this is your first time as a, as a chef. It is. So let's talk about that. Let's go ahead and let's introduce yourself uh, again, where they can find you on the Internet, what you do in your, your job-ish, if you have a job. And just tell, tell the folks at home <laughs> a little bit about yourself. Wow. Yeah. It's like oh, yeah. a shot at your own <laughs> chef. No, no, what is no. happening? I know she has a job. So You've taken shots at both. Both of a judge <laughs> and a I did not take a far? shot at her. I was saying, because there might be some people in here that do not know if folks have a job or not. So uh -huh. I'm just saying, I don't want to give the spoilers of what Kells does. Uh, because I, I care about Kells. Because Maybe. I care about Kells. Let's do this. I'm Kells. Uh, I own my own game company, Cat Bean Games, and we're making our first game, Calco. Uh, and you can find that at calicogame.com. And you can find me at, at Pika Chaos. And you can find the game on Twitter at Calico Game. <laughs> All right. We got, see, I know she works. She's promoting her game, which is a magical cat cafe game. Yeah. With other cute animals. I should have worn my cat ears. You should have worn the cat ears. Well, no, then what if it fall off into the fire when you chef it? Oh, no, it? they're on there. They're on there. Yeah, All right. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, uh, Angelina, go ahead and introduce yourself to our uh, audience today. Sure. Thanks, Ted. My name is Angelina. I'm Hologram Dream on Twitter. Um, Angelina Shikoku on Instagram. My game company is called Elo Hell game. Uh, it's on Steam. We're in early access right now. Awesome. And uh, tell them, how many times have you been victorious on this show? Twice now? Three times now? Two times. 
You think you're going to come out on top this time as well? I don't know, Kelsey's fierce competition, so I don't want to. I, I do wanna... have rice. Yeah. You do have she, rice. She no, that is true. Rice. And unlimited water. I'm feeling and unlimited water. But, but so I'm does Angelina. Very confident. <laughs> but, but Angelina, let's talk about you've been victorious twice. Whose squad were you on those times? I was on Purple Squad when I won. And on my squad once when you and won. And won, yes. So, <laughs> I don't know what you were trying to pull here. I, don't, I just wanted to see what you said. Mike. She was like, hey, look, I was on Purple Squad. You think I'm just so. going to let you have this? So, here's what's being. Uh, oh, so, so we, we did that thing. We had production we chatting with us in our ear uh, from back there, and both Mike and I just went. <laughs> it looked uh, like you glitched. Just to be quiet. We, 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 we had to, we had to, we had to reboot. Second. Voting is happening right now. If you do not see voting or not able to vote, make sure that you have logged into Twitch, you've granted access to the extension, and that you join a squad. That is the only way. And what's going to happen this time is we will only be asking questions of our own squad. So, mm -hmm. uh, Purple Squad, you will only be getting questions for Chef Kells. Green squad, Green you will squad. only be getting questions for Chef Angelina. That that was what I was coming in. I thought we were going to do that thing that like twins do where we finish each other's sentences. Why don't you tell them what's up for grabs this round? Ooh, well, what's up for grabs this round? I don't have that sheet up. All right, well, up for grabs this round is uh, the winner gets to pick the trivia topic, and then you get to pick your knife. So the trivia topics this time for the speed round are history and science. Ooh. Keep that in mind. Okay. Keep that in mind. My favorite part is that the knives they get to choose from are a bread knife. They're crazy knives. And a, a cleaver. Yeah. So enjoy those. And with our proteins today, these are both bad. Those are both bad. Yep. <laughs> All right. So uh, Green Squad has voted false on this one, Angelina. Angelina, do you prefer Picasso over Monet? Is that true or false? False. That is false. Great job, Green Squad. You know Angelina by this point. <laughs> Why don't you like, wait, so you don't like Picasso over so Monet? Picasso is more intellectually interesting, and from a heart, art history perspective, I would say he was more revolutionary and had a greater impact on the world, but I just want to sit and look at a Monet. That's my aesthetic. That's my aesthetic. aesthetic. What is, no, okay, no, I get it. It's in the letters that are spaced out, aesthetic. Aesthetic. Absolutely. Yeah, Sparkles. I get it. So, <laughs> Sparkles. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kells, the squad is voted true on this. They think that you would choose world peace over one million dollars. That is true. That, I, is point. that was so fast. I, I that was a billion dollars. I am currently trying to get a publisher and it's really hard when you want money to fund your game but you also don't really like money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like money. But so you, you but you're more of the, you want the world peace. Yeah. Yeah, tell us really. why. I mean, it's the uh, <laughs> uh, 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 world peace. <laughs> what the? I feel like I, we broke Kel's version. We glitched. I had to reboot. <laughs> Kel's just completely <laughs> glitched out. That's such a weird question because, like, wouldn't everybody want world peace? There is clearly there are some people in this world that do not want and world with, peace. With world peace, you wouldn't even need money because everyone would be like, "What would make you happy?" And we'd money. Be, we'd <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be like, "Post scarcity it would be great." Mm -hmm. I what it, that's all. Yeah. Okay, well, well, they're having a moment over there. Uh, Green Squad has voted false on this one as well. Angelina. Angelina prefers never-ending story over the Princess Bride. False. That is false, of That's course, because nobody prefers never-ending story <laughs> over the Princess Bride. Well, That's the was best. That shaggy dog. I, no, yeah, I do. Yeah, right I like there, the right? shaggy dog thing. So that is false. Good job, Green Squad, for guessing Angelina. That's a great movie. Wait. Those are both great movies. Yeah, they are. Yeah, great. but Princess Bride's better. It is. It has. It has Billy Crystal. Let Angelina it. tell. Oh, Angelina. So let's do the the break the deep dive the breakdown the breakdown. I've seen the Never Ending Story once. I've seen the Princess Bride probably twenty twenty five times. Well, clearly exactly. that's where you've gone wrong is you haven't rewatched maybe. Never Ending Story. Maybe. See, that's my problem with. Um, oh my gosh, I just blinked. The first Princess Bride <laughs> is that in high school every single movie party was watching The Princess Bride, and I was mm. kind of sick of it at that point. What high school did you go to where you all had <laughs> Princess Bride? <laughs> nerd, high nerd, high nerd high school. Nerd high school. Uh, Fry Hatter says, Princess Bride is a classic. It is. And Danny Two Steps says, but Princess Bride doesn't have any horses die in it, which is very traumatizing. Oh, which makes it an even Ow. better movie. Spoil I know, spoilers, which is spoil it for Will. Uh, they put a false <laughs> on this. Kells, you drive more than 200 miles in an average month. Is that true or false? I drive no miles. She drives, uh, so that is, no that is miles. false. Congrats Yeah, I, um, I last lived in New York maybe 10 years ago, and I didn't get my... License because I was like, oh, I used to live in New York. I'll go back there. Mm -hmm. Never went back to New York. Never went back to New York. Gotcha. Now, when you say New York, are you from like upstate or are you saying like city? city New, York New York City. Wow. Yeah, I grew up in um, 
Greenwich Village. Mm -hmm. Like, where, like, Friends was. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, you wouldn't be able to afford those apartments. (laughs) It's not how that works. I like how she's just sitting over here. You wouldn't be able to afford (laughs) it. You said, like, you, yeah. No, you wouldn't. I know how much you make. You you wouldn't. You are probably, I mean, a lot of people. You'd have to be, like... There, there is some, uh, some hardcore people just right now. We have spurned a discussion for the ages oh, in chat because it's yeah. a about great Princess movie. Bride and Never Ending Story. It's just a wow. Princess Bride is better by default because Andre the Giant, which that is, is true. very true. And, and, Doctor, right. and Dr. Roots is like, Artex, you stupid horse. Green Squad <laughs> is voted sad. the third false in a row here. Angelina would rather hold a birthday party in, an, in a bar than an arcade. False. Hey, good job. Triple falses, triple corrects. It's three answers in a row. I hate bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Arcade bars Depends. are good. Arcade bars yeah, are cool. Those are good. So, Regular bars? So barcades yeah. or an arcade, but like a dive bar is something you would never have a... Maybe a dive bar just to meet a single friend for a drink. It's yeah. Fine. yeah. But to have but you a can't party. hear. I yes. like, exactly. can't hear. What? I need to talk to my Can friends. you? I mean, you can hear in a bar. What happens when you go into a bar? You're like, <laughs> suddenly have to yell the entire there time. Like, there it... are these way too overcrowded Seattle bars oh, yeah, that awful. have like, true. like dry ice in their drinks. Okay. Uh, Squid yeah. Surf says, I would just like to say that no matter what, Kells wins because of the pink hair. Oh, thank you. And the Shaitan says, that's what the one, bill- the one billion was for, a flat in NYC instead of world peace. <laughs> oh, perfect. There we go. Uh, speaking of, of, uh, of destinations, they voted false or true on this, that you would rather vacation in Whistler than Hawaii. Is that true or false? I'd actually rather be in Hawaii. Yeah, so all right. Whistler's so that is, that is incorrect, guys. We got one. We're down one. Ooh. That's fine. That's all right. Whistler's too cold, you say? Yeah, I usually go to Whistler to, like, ski. And I do love skiing, but I also like moderate temperatures. And Hawaii has, like... This kind, it's really hot, but you hardly feel it. I've never been to Hawaii. I don't know why I'm saying that. I want to go to Hawaii. Okay. No, is, got it. is the prize for this a trip to Hawaii? No. Um, yes. Why are you giving false hopes? <gasps> Contracts, uh, be, legally binding. Because we're I going to see Hawaii. Steve freak out. <laughs> I'll Steve, take you. Steve one of us out. will win. Yeah. So no matter who wins, the other one's yeah, taking one the to other take to take Hawaii. That's yeah. a good plan. All right. All right. Well, pointless competition at this point. <laughs> Let's, yep. We'll talk Let's, Angelina here. Angelina. <clears throat> Our squad voted true on this one. Angelina likes Groot more than Drax. Is that true or false? That is true. That is true. Another point for Green Squad on a roll. That is a tough one. Running away with this one. Why is that a tough one? Because they're both good characters. They are, Groot's they are both good characters. I would only pick Groot because he can make flowers. That's his, like, one-up. Groot <laughs> sacrificed his life so that you could live. Drax would sacrifice his life as well. He just didn't. Hasn't had the opportunity. He hasn't had the opportunity. I think in one of the movies he does like go like, kill me instead, and then he does it like it. Have you guys played the Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale game? Yes. That was a quick yes. That is, I really like that. Also, we were talking about it like a week ago, so it's on the top of my mind. There's a good Drax moment in there where he can sacrifice his life, and it's amazing. Does he sacrifice his life? It's your choice. Oh, oh my God! It is. I mean, that's a telltale game. Honestly, can't remember what I picked. I, I, I was saddened by what, what happened. All right, Kells, they would have false on this. If you can be become any animal, you would choose a human. <laughs> you go ahead and that's say that, an that, easy. That, that's that's that. a gimme. That's yeah. Congrats, no guys. Way. Thank you. Thank you for that one. See, that was does Kells like water? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what animal would you become? A sloth. It was a hard one. It's a hard one between cat and sloth, but a sloth can grow moss on its body. And what I want is there's videos online of them cleaning sloths. What they do is they have like a hanger uh-huh. and they, they, the, the sloth just claws on. They claw onto it, they, they clean and wash the sloth, and then they dunk it in a thing of moss, moss to re-mossify because it needs it. Remossify. So this is what you want to have so, happen to you. Yeah. So you, what you're you just, so you're saying you just want to be cleaned and ba- cleaned and bathed and dunked. Yes, in moss. And I would love in at moss. all times in plant matter times to be expected of nothing. Nothing is expected of me except to grow moss on my body. Our, our chat has become Groot, by the way. <laughs> they are all just Groot now. Perfect. Welcome, I'm glad Groot. This has happened. Yeah. This is what happens every time. We just lose control of everything every that happens on every this time. show. We are live. Don't forget, you guys. Make sure that you've joined a squad and selected a team for you guys to be able to vote and help out our chefs. <laughs> Green Squad has voted false on this one, Angelina. Angelina likes Kirk more than Picard. Is that true or false? One. 
the... Uh, Do you remember what you answered? I just enjoyed the, like, the, oh, no, like, the rapid right? blink of the eyes. Yeah, I need to think about this. This is an easy answer, in my opinion. Yeah. This is the easiest answer. Can you repeat the question. You like Captain Kirk more than Captain Picard. False. False. All right, perfect. That's, that is great, because that is the correct answer. That's another point for us. But I just want to be clear, everybody. Picard is the correct answer there, regardless. What? What is? Are you saying that's wrong? No, 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 that's right. That's right. It's just how emotional Very you strong got. belief. For you. Is it wrong? Just so you no. all See? know. But also, I would pick bones. Oh, there you go. 100%. Uh, the Chitons oh. is Kels like Groot and wants to be Duncan Moss. There's a lot more going on there. There's a lot happening here. Well, like, actually, I just love Nate. My, my wedding ring is, is a twig and leaf. Oh. There you go. An it's actual twig, not, not a thing. Uh, Dr. Woot's Sloth Life hashtag. Thank you for those 10 bits. Kels, they voted true on this. Your favorite pizza topping cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I mean, yeah, it's it technically is. extra cheese. Extra cheese. That still counts, that's, though. That is that's cheese. That's fine. That Layer, is cheese. More we'll layers of cheese. Just more cheese. You ever had, like, I would it? actually rather just be a whole thing of just a plate of melted, melted cheese. Melted cheese. And I'll Ugh. just eat it. Angelina's made melted cheese here on the show. Yeah, yeah she almost yeah. set up the fire alarm. I ate it. I ate it. Everyone's like, yes, she did. Oh. Those cheese chips, though. Thank those you. cheese chips, though. I like that we get the shout from the judges. Those cheese chips, though. All right. Now, Green Squad has voted true on this one. Green Squad says, Angelina would rather move to Lima than Anchorage. Or is that pronounced Lima, like a bean? I uh, think I mean Lima, random. Peru, I think is the uh... I am a, I'm a warm person. I think I would like to visit Alaska. No offense to Alaska. Mm -hmm. Any Alaskans out there, your state is beautiful. <laughs> but definitely South America. Okay, perfect. Uh, All right. So where is Lima? It's in Peru, I just Peru. said. Oh, okay. Hey, sorry, I wasn't listening. I was listening to the guest here. <laughs> she hadn't been speaking yet. <laughs> you just zone it out, aren't you? No. Right, so you're so you're a warm person. You. So let's talk. Hi, Angelina. I'm listening to you. So you'd rather be you'd rather visit South America? They are both depressed economies, I think. So I mean, I would have to be like a llama farmer or something. Ooh, that'd be fun though. That's what I'm gonna do here. You know, you farm can llamas. A llama farmer anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. If you put your, you know what? If you believe you can gonna, be a llama farmer anywhere. We'll just put them on the same team because they're. Yeah, we'll be Mike and Ted versus <laughs> Kels and Angelina. Angelina today. We would lose horribly. Uh, Doctor Roots, another hundred bits. Thank you so much, Thank uh, you. Kels. I would have false on this. You have never beaten the original, the original Zelda for an ass. I have. Oh, she has. All right, so it's yeah. true. There you go. It's false. Like it's it's true that she's beaten it. So false is the correct answer. <laughs> I can't speak. I got this. Uh, how many times? Only once. What's your favorite Zelda I, game? I've I've played Ocarina of Time a gazillion times. Mm -hmm. A gazillion. Um, That's a lot I've of times. I played Okami the the Wolf version yeah, of yeah. Legend of Zelda about six times. All right. Um, I, I mean, it's hard, it's really tough. Nowadays, 2018, it's really tough to say because Breath of the Wild is the perfect amalgamation of, of all Zelda things. But, uh, you know, you have those soft spots for Majora's Mask. Also, cannot play Majora's Mask without a guide. There's no that's, way. That's Even if I remember how it works, can't do it. <laughs> There's a lot perfect. going on in that game. All right, now, Green Squad voted true on this one. We only got two more questions, Woo! right, for each of us here, or two more questions for each of us. Angelina would choose Ted over Mike to draw a portrait of her. Is that true or false? Now, this is a weird one. That's a weird one. <laughs> would you prefer if I drew a portrait of you or if, if Mike drew a portrait? We're just going to look at Angelina, like, just smile, like... I don't know anything pick? about either of your art styles. You haven't seen either one of us draw? No. no. True. So I think that's a point for our squad. <laughs> we no, we don't know. I would just say because we do D&D &D together, we're more comfortable. And there we go. like an intimate thing, so... <laughs> Collusion. Maybe Ted. There we go. I've spent more time with Angelina, is what she's saying. So I can, I got, I can get her essence. <laughs> I can draw the essence. essence. The essence. I would like to see during chill you portraitize Angelina. I'll during... do, you know what? If somebody brings me a piece of paper, it's gonna happen and a during pencil, chill. I will sure. do that on sure. show. Stay tuned. After served, our third, our, our third show, chill, where we will have Ted draw a portrait of Angelina because she chose him over me. Uh, <laughs> They so true on this, Kells, you know the Konami code. I don't. You don't, so let's, let's Wait, fall. wait, wait, maybe I do. Wait, let's see what it is. Is it, is it up, down, up, down, right, left, right, left, 
BA. You're so BA. close. It was really close, but no. Yeah, but that was wrong. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, oh, right. You were you so close. close. You did. You were so close. Oh my so gosh. Yeah. Uh, there's no way we can come back from this because we only have one question that's left. Fine. So. I just wanna, that's fine. I just want to crush, crush yeah. Purple Squad that's into so the that ground means, here for one So uh, the round is technically over. We're still going to ask the questions I of our... I don't know which knife to pick anyway. Of the, yeah. That's because you don't know what the proteins are. So you don't know which knife will be better for yeah, you. Yeah, no, you don't know that yet. No, I just... I don't. I wouldn't know anyway. It doesn't matter. It <laughs> Unless it's bread, I don't know. Uh, Danny, what a coincidence! All three rounds are <laughs> sourdough bread. Sourdough bread. Danny two steps says good. there's a llama farm like 20 minutes from where they live. Danny, do they have alpacas? Alpacas? Alpacas. Alpacas are the know. better llamas. Yes, they are they're the more llamas. friendly. I, I will go if they're. I'm going uh -oh. to a wolf sanctuary <gasps> for my birthday. And it has sloths and skunks, oh and gosh. like they, I don't know if they have alpacas and stuff, but they have a bunch of like rescued animals. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. All right. That sounds fun. And uh, Green Squad has voted true on this one here. Now Angelina, or was it your turn? No, it was my turn. No, Angelina turn. would rather dice 10 onions than peel 50 potatoes. Absolutely dice onions. Wow, really? Yeah, dice onions. That is another truth. So that is a, a, a perfect that round. That is a perfect round for Good the job. Green Squad yes. there. Now, That's... Angelina. Can I, I tell you why? Yeah, I was going to say, I cry <laughs> the instant I start chopping an onion. You not... said, like, even if you were, like, rooms away or something? Yeah, no, even if I'm, like, in the next room, I, wow. it just hits me and oh, I start you, crying. I can't wait for served then. <laughs> It'll I be know, fine. I know some stuff. I know some stuff. But, uh, like, if... Okay, potato, 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 potatoes. Potato peeling has a 100% more chance of me accidentally cutting myself. And if I do that, I faint immediately. Also, if I accidentally cut myself during this, I will faint. Okay, Angelina good to know. didn't explain why. I know, we there, yeah, there was going to be a reason. I was waiting. Well, I was... You, t you thought of it a different way. You thought of raw potatoes. I thought of the hot potatoes, and I always burn myself because I want oh, my mashed potatoes to be yeah, hot. So I'm peeling hot potatoes, and I there hate it. Yeah. All three of us. Oh, uh -huh. I know. We're learning, we learn stuff every day on this show. Every, Speaking of every day on this show, we are officially live. This is the yeah. we're in launch week. This From now launch. on, we will be doing five days a week, Tuesday through Saturday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on twitch.tv slash squad says Kells. The final question, even though, uh, you know, we give you a point, just a feel good, see I if like you know this thing. Myself. Yeah. Okay. Can you name the team that won the 2018 League of Legends World Championship? No. They said you could. You can't? No. Ooh. You know, 2000. 13, when I was in college, we used to watch the League of Legends tournaments. The League. On the, the one, because I was on the computer science floor. Yeah. Ah, all right. And one of the kids had like a big flat screen TV, mm -hmm. and we would watch the League of Legends tournament. Awesome. And that was my college experience. There you go. All what right. a good time. Now, I just want to say, we crushed <laughs> the purple squad there sure into did. a nice little dust and even got a perfect round that time. That was a good round for you. Congratulations yeah. with the knife. We have rice. We, you have rice. Angelina, what knife are you going to take here? The bread knife or the, the cleaver? Take clear. All right. That means that we will get the bread time. knife. We I will did have bread last time. Knife over here. All right. And that means you also get to choose the category for the speed round. Ooh. Remember, the categories are science and history. Science. Even You're going to take science. All last right. Time. Oh. That's okay. That is <laughs> okay. So. I have to mention I also dropped out of college. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. The end of that story. <laughs> so let's have both of our chefs now. Go ahead and head over to your stations. Uh, Kels, if you want to bring your little uh, stool over there is with you. And then Angelina, you're going to stay right over here. You might want to scoot into the middle there. Now, let's explain how this next uh, round of voting is going to go. Remember, folks, if you haven't joined a squad, please do join a squad. If you're on the front page watching us there, click on our page, and then we'll be prompted to actually join a squad. And you can join in on the voting and help your squad that you choose win. Now. What you're going to see on your squad as soon as we start the, on your screen, as soon as you start the voting is numbers one through six. Those are going to correspond to numbers that you think your chef is going to get correct. So Angelina gets three correct. You want to probably guess three or lower than what she's guessing. Now, let me get the uh, rewards here that they're actually going to be getting here. If they get one question right, they get a spatula. Two questions right, they get a medium pan in addition to that spatula. Three questions right, it's rear burner, four is any spice, five is a medium bowl, and six is the use of the oven. Now, if you guess four questions right and Angelina only gets three questions right, she gets nothing. So that is a very high risk, high reward situation here. That's right. In just a few seconds here, the voting will be starting. In fact, I think the voting has started right now, so why don't you go ahead and talk to Angelina okay. about how she feels about this round. Okay. Now, Angelina, you're going to be doing not history, you're doing science. 
How do you feel about science? I love science. How many questions? Love do you... it. What is happening? I don't know. How many questions? No, I dig it. I, I like the singing. How many questions do you think you could get right in a just a general science? I want to say four. You think four? Because three is too low. Three is too low. Do you, you want to shoot for the stars? We don't have anything to start out with besides that knife. Do you think they? Okay, I'll guess three then. You'll guess three. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying we should stay on the conservative side here. Last time you were like, I'm pre-med, and you didn't. Six. Six. I know. All right, here we go. Well, they say easy six points, but they also put the kappa. So, well, let's see what we're going to get here. Green Squad has voted for three. So that's rear burner, that's medium pan, and spatula. Okay. Ready for the science questions? Yes. Here we go. What animal goes by the scientific name Ornithotophyllantinus? <laughs> <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Can I see it on the paper? Ornith... No, because I yeah, can't cover it. Ornithorhynchus. <laughs> <laughs> so helpful. Thank you, Ted. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ant? Because there was an ant in there? No. <laughs> Often used in jewelry. What is the fossilized resin of pine trees called? Amber. Amber. All right, correct. What is the, which part of a man's anatomy remains the same size from birth? It's not the penis. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. Uh, eyes. Eyes, perfect. That is another correct one. If a bird nidifies, what is it just done? Made a nest? It's another correct one. What unit of area was originally the size that a yoke of oxen could plow through in a day? An acre? Okay, that's also correct. Alicante, Golden Boy, and Paranto are which types of which vegetable? Can you repeat the question? Alicante, Golden Boy, and Paranto are types of which vegetable? Beets? Tomato. Great job, Angelina. Holy. And then it's the stream team. What does this have to do with cooking? You'll see in the next round, uh, in the next show served here in just a second. Now, wow. Okay, so you got... Four out of the six correct. The first one, what animal goes by the scientific name Ornithorhynchus anatinus is the platypus. Oh. Uh, Amber, you got correctly. Uh, anatomy remains the, uh, remains the same as eyes. Which bird nidifies? That's build a yost. How did you uh, build a nest? How did you know that? Nidify, I thought, like, make something. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> um, and then the... Acre, you got correct, and uh, Alicante, Golden Boy, Peranto, or tomatoes. Huh. Yeah. I should have known that. I know a lot about tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Do you? <laughs> My mom grows tomatoes. Okay. I was going to say, that's a weird thing to know a lot about is They're tomatoes. They're native to Washington, so most Washingtonians, I would say, know a bit about tomatoes. Can you pronounce that? I tried really, I tried my best, everybody, all right? Everybody Or laughed at me in this <laughs> studio here. It is difficult. Ornithorhynchus. Anatomous, it's hard. See, yeah. I'm not dumb. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and turn it over to, uh, to uh, Mike and Kels here. All right. Well, that was, that was a good speed round. How are you feeling about this? Uh, you have history. I know a lot of things, but I forget them. But you forget them. <laughs> I'm not okay. going to recall. So we'll see how this goes. So What's the do, do do I pick how many or what? Yeah, I mean you can you can guide them. They will pick how many. There's spatula. One is spatula. Oh. Two is a medium pan. Three gets the rear burner. Four is any spice. Five gets the medium bowl, and six gets the oven. I feel like three is definitely uh, three or two. You like three or two? You're gonna play it safe for this for this well, history. Well, just the heat sources. Heat, yeah. Gotta yeah. heat my stuff up. Uh, you, you have know, a rice cooker? Rice cooker, but that's for the rice. It could be for the rice. What if you want to throw another feature ingredient in there? You never know. We'll <laughs> see. It's, it's up to the chat to decide. Oh. Squads, it's up for you to vote. Make sure that you guys have logged in, joined the squad. You're only voting for Chef Kells right now on how many questions you think she will get right in this speed round to help her out in oh. Squad Says Serve, our cooking show, which comes on right after this. Uh, they have selected three, the rear okay. burner. <clears throat> Chef Kells, are you ready? Yes. Hathor is Egyptian. Bronwyn is Celtic, and Frigga is Norse. What are these the goddesses of? Oh, oh, I just saw the ending of God of War. Um, um, oh, I should, like I literally just, just played God of War. Need an answer. Okay, Put what's the purple first squad. again? Uh, Hathor is Egyptian, Bronwyn is Celtic, Frigga is Norse. These are the goddesses of what? I'm gonna say ice. 
That is incorrect. In what city did gangster Al Capone operate? Brooklyn. Incorrect. Which animals are thought to be given rise to the belief in mermaids? Oh, um, um, beluga whales. Incor or, but, but they start with an M. That's incorrect. <laughs> that's, that's, that is also wrong. Uh, Corey Ten Boom was the first licensed female to do what in Holland? I don't know. All right. In Greek mythology, who was the son of the Titans Cronus and Rhea? Oh, I'll just Archimedes. Incorrect. What animal is the emblem for Great Britain? Um, uh, lion. That is correct. You got one. Ah! You got one. All right. Uh, Hathor, Bronwyn, and Frigga are, so random. are all the goddesses of love. Oh. Al Capone was big in Chicago. He operated out of Chicago. Uh, seals and duodongs were uh, thought were given the rise yeah, to but mermaids. The, the, the beluga, they have the knees. Uh, Corey Ten Boom was the first licensed female to be a watchmaker in Holland, and Hades was the son of the Titans, Cronus and Rhea. Hades. So we got we got nothing. We got nothing. But that's all right. We're starting with the rice. We're starting with the cooker. That means you guys are starting with quite a bit of stuff, too. We are starting with quite a bit of stuff, so let me recap exactly how many things we get to start out with. We get the rear burner. We also are going to get a medium pan, medium pan, a spatula, and we get this great cleaver. All right, we got so there. we'll be starting with the rice cooker, the rice, we've got that bread knife, and we get to go first in Squad Says Served, which comes on right after this. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.